Hey guys, welcome back to the Babbling Boots YouTube channel, where we babble about boots. And I'll occasionally do a little bit of chatting about style. Today's video, we're going to be doing some chattings on a pair of sunglasses that I bought from a brand called American Optical. These are the aviator style sunglasses. You know, they're popularized most recently by Ray-Bans. I had a pair of aviators back in when I was in law school and they were like a cheap brand and those fell apart. And recently I decided I would like to, you know, get back into those and see what's out there. I went with American Optical as opposed to like Ray-Bans. I already have a pair of Ray-Ban. I think it's either Wayfair or Clubmasters. And I just wanted to try something else. So I did some research and I found American Optical, which I had actually never even heard about until I looked them up. They are a brand that I think has a lot of history in America. They were founded in 1833, manufactured their sunglasses in Massachusetts, I think up until 2020-ish when they were bought out by, I think it's some European company. And then they moved their manufacturing to outside of Chicago. So their manufacturing has stayed in the U.S., even to this day. And apparently a cool fact about them is they are the first military contract to make aviator style sunglasses for the U.S. military back in 1935. Bausch and Lomb was kind of the, the company that designed the first aviator sunglasses that, you know, are now owned by Ray-Bans. But this is the first company that actually got a contract with the military to start producing them, which I thought was pretty cool. So let's go to the unboxing. So they give a pretty nice, uh, very retro style packaging here. Looks like something you would find, you know, if you got sunglasses probably back in like the, the 60s or 50s or something. Looks pretty classy. Wear these glasses, protect your eyes. Thank you. I'll do that. True original since 1833. So I think I was right about the date, hopefully. So I'll pull this out. These sunglasses, I will say, they're aviator style and on the website they're referred to as the general. The specs for these are, I got 55 millimeter lenses and the lenses are gray and they are glass. One thing is if you look at some brands, I know Ray-Bans for their aviators, they actually use plastic lenses, which I think there's pros and cons with both. Plastic lenses are typically a little bit lighter, so they're not as heavy on the face. They're probably a little bit safer if you break them because, you know, glass breaking is not great to have around you. One of the benefits of glass is that it adds a little more clarity. And I just think glass is kind of cooler. You know, it wears better to me than plastic. I think having something that's all glass is just has a nicer hand feel as well, which is one reason why I went with these. And here are the glasses themselves. They are gold frame glasses as well. And these are, like I said, made in the United States. I think the lenses are manufactured or imported. I'm not sure where they're imported from, but... They do feel very nice though. Comparison to my um, Ray-Bans, they feel a lot more substantial, which is nice. Let's see how these fit. Wish I had a mirror. I did decide to go with 55 millimeters for the, the lenses. I think the standard size for aviators is typically 58-ish millimeters, which obviously are larger. I think from what I did some research online, smaller lenses are a little bit more retro in style, I guess, or classic. So I just, you know, decided to try those out. You know, once I see how I look, I'll decide if I want to go up a, a size and style or, or keep these. But I, I do like the way they fit. They fit very nicely. They don't, they sit nicely. The, I guess the, I'm not a sunglass expert, but I think this is the bridge of the sunglasses sit nicely on my nose. Whereas the Ray-Bans I have that are, the club masters those slip a lot down my face when i'm like walking and whatnot and i constantly have to push them back up but these i, I can tell i don't have that issue i'm pushing on them and they're not moving so that's really nice i like that they have their logo here you know if you have a pair of ray-bans you know that ray-bans kind of has their iconic ray-ban logo etched into the right lens on the edge they have theirs on the the left here and it's just an ao for american optical which is kind of a nice uh, understated look and these are, you know, just tortoise shell style temple things, temple pads. We're going to call them temple pads. I don't know if that's what they are, but that's what I'm going to call them. You get the idea. And I bought these for $215 on their website. They can get Ray-Bans on their website for $155 for non-polarized if they're on sale, up to like $200-ish polarized, depending on the edition, for their aviators. 
These, as I mentioned, these were 215 and these are non-polarized. The polarized ones on their website are, I think, 265 so they're a little bit more expensive. Other comparable brands that I found online, I think the biggest competitor, maybe not competitor, but brand that's the most similar to these would be Randolph Engineering. I think they're a bit of a newer company. Probably These are a luxury brand too, but the Randolph Engineering ones, I think, are probably a little bit on the higher end of luxury. I think their aviator style sunglasses started around 275 for the non-polarized ones and then they go over $300 for the polarized ones. And that company I think started in around 1970s-ish. So they don't have quite the history and heritage uh, that American Optical does, which is really one of the main reasons why I wanted to go with them just because I, I like companies with like a lot of history and heritage and this company uh, checks all those boxes for me. And they feel very nice in the hand as I mentioned before. Once I, you know, wear these out more in the sunlight and see how they hold up over longer periods of time because they, like I said, they are probably going to be a little heavier with that uh, glass lens than I'm, what I'm used to with my Ray-Bans. But if I'm able to get used to them, they will probably be my, my new go-to pair of sunglasses, so I'm excited about that. I did manage to find my Clubmaster sunglasses from Ray-Ban. Well, my wife did at least. Uh, she found them in the drawer over there, so I was just going to do a little quick comparison between the two while I had them. As I mentioned before, with these, they're lighter on the face, but they just slip down more over time. Like when I'm walking, uh, I don't know why. I've tried to adjust the, the nose pads on them, and they just never seem to get it right with that. So that's like the biggest drawback I have with these. I've had other sunglasses from other brands, and that's never been an issue for me. Um, these, though, are just a nicer fit overall. Like I'm pushing down, and they're not going down my face at all. They sit comfortably. And the weight, they do feel heftier. Initially, you know, they feel fine. I don't know how they're going to feel long periods of time. I don't have any immediate, you know, discomfort from wearing them, though. I do like them. I think the range of range of mobility, not like you're not going to be able to move much with sunglasses anyway, but they feel nice. They're not like, you know, falling off my face or anything. I'm not going to break my neck, but I think uh, they have a nice feel. I'll say that. That's, you know as much detail I can go into on these. I did also happen to have a little scale here. Not that this matters, but we're going to do a little weight comparison between the two. So the Ray-Bans are 1.4 ounces. Okay. And these American Optical Generals are Hmm. They are 1.1 ounces. So these are actually lighter. So maybe I lied about them feeling heavier. Mm -hmm. 1.2 ounces. 1.2 ounces. So they're both 1.2 ounces. I guess maybe these have heavier temples because they're more substantial so maybe that's where more of the weight is for these whereas these are plastic so they're going to be lighter in the actual lens it's kind of the, the inverse for these these are smaller frames especially around the temple so they're probably lighter here whereas the front is heavier so that's probably why you know these will feel more front heavy if you're wearing them than uh, these Ray-Bans would one of the reasons I went with non-polarized Aside from the price, because they were $50 cheaper, I've tried polarized and non-polarized sunglasses, and I'm not really diehard one way or another. I think the benefits of polarized are you get more sharp images when you're looking through your glasses, and then there's less glare. I think with non-polarized, though, the images that you look through with your glasses tend to be more true to life, I guess, more you know what you would see without them uh, on which I kind of like. And one benefit I saw online, if you wear non-polarized sunglasses, if you live in an area that has a lot of snow and ice, it's probably better to have non-polarized because polarized kind of hide ice on the roadways because there's no glare, you know, they kind of make it take the shine away. So it's a little bit more dangerous if you're driving over ice to wear polarized, just something to keep in mind. And then one of the major drawbacks that I think there is for polarized and also one of the main reasons I chose non-polarized is because if you're looking at like your smartphone display or your laptop display, I don't know why you'd be on a laptop wearing sunglasses, but maybe if you're outside, you would be. If you have on polarized sunglasses when you're looking at screens like that, 
it kind of causes a distortion with the screen where the colors don't really look as accurate and it can kind of be like an eye strain with it. Whereas if you just use non-polarized, it's just basically filtering out UV light. It's not really changing what you're seeing. So it's a little more, provides a little more clarity as far as, you know, looking at screens, which I think is a nice benefit of using non-polarized. So one thing I did want to touch on with these sunglasses is just kind of the hinge mechanism for closing them. I know some sunglasses have kind of weak hinge mechanisms or that aren't very good. The hinge for these seems very nice and, and tight and it's a smooth close when I'm doing it. Some of the sunglasses, you know, if you hold them by one side, they'll bend and, and fold more easily, but these seem nice and, and strong and rigid. So that's not an issue thus far. With my Ray-Bans, this might be because the hinges aren't as tight and I need to tighten them, but they, you know, you hold them by one and they don't really uh, do very well to stay open. But that's just one thing that could be a little bit better with these. But as you know, these, from what I've initial feel, the quality is great. The frames are nice and strong, not a lot of give to those. They feel very sturdy. And then the hinges also feel very nice. They feel substantial in the hand. So I think for the price, they're not much more than Ray-Band. And I've had Ray-Band aviators and these feel much more stable than the Ray-Band aviators I've purchased too. So I'm very happy that I went with American Optical thus far. And then one other thing I do want to touch on is they did give a little sunglass cleaning cloth here. It's like probably a little microfiber, which is kind of cool. It's got, oh, it has like, I guess the general, it almost looks like a, a little patent in the different parts of it. That's kind of a nice little touch. You can see the different components of it on the cloth. So yeah, they did include this in the package, which is nice. And I guess it names all the different components of the glasses, which would have been something I probably should have looked at before I just made them up off the top of my head. So yeah, this has been kind of my overview of the sunglasses. Just to kind of like wrap things up, again, these are American Optical, the general model, a non-polarized that I purchased for $215. Just a comparison, these are my Ray-Ban Club Masters. And these were, apparently they're made in Italy on the side it says. So these are made in Italy, these are made in the U.S., Ray-Ban is owned by Luxottica, which I don't know if anyone's ever seen, like there's a 60 Minutes interview on it with their CEO. Dude seems very sketch and kind of nefarious, so I try to avoid Luxottica now because they just like gobble up other sunglass companies all the time. Uh, I'm not like a fan of that, so I tried to go with someone that's a little more independent. And I have to say that I really enjoy what I've seen so far from American Optical, so I would definitely recommend you check these out if you haven't before. I think this will be it for today. Coming up, I'll probably have some more boot reviews. This is primarily a boot-focused channel. On occasion, I might have other products in there, but usually I, I try to post at least something boot-related every single week. This is just kind of one of those off videos where I saw a cool product that I wanted to give a little unboxing on. And if you like what you've seen here, feel free to give me a like and uh, subscribe. Thanks, guys.